The rant in Springfield came laced with swear words. Can I tell you to move your truck? You move your truck! Sean Felger, pushing his two-year-old in a stroller, was furious and lashed out with racist language. The moment was caught on tape because the truck the Hispanic roofing crew was using got stuck and they wanted to show their boss what happened. Police used that video to track down Felger. It's certainly not the first case in Oregon. More than a year ago in May, a white man harassed a Muslim couple as they drove to the hospital to check on her pregnancy. He later gave a tearful apology. Just a month before that, a Marine Sergeant Major attacked a server at an Iraqi restaurant in Portland. On the streets of Portland, it is relatively easy to find people who say they've been harassed because of their skin color. Yeah, actually. Really? Yeah, I get people who, like, you know, whether it's um, my sexuality or whether it's um, skin color, but, you know, it just has nothing to do with me because really the truth is that that's their insecurity. Still, it is disturbing and apparently persistent. People do it all the time. I mean, like, it's just like, I wouldn't say, like, I've had a lot of people call me the N-word, a lot of people call me the N-word. Yeah, so they think it's okay, but it's not. So don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> but is the problem getting worse? Is President Trump's rhetoric leading to more hate speech locally? Some think so. So I think he's kind of given a platform to these people to speak out and like do these things. Like if he's saying these things, like our president is saying these things, then it gives other people they're, they feel they have the right to do these things. But that may not be the case. What we know is that that's relatively constant. Randy Blazak is a sociologist who studies hate groups. He's also the chair of the Oregon Coalition Against Hate Crimes. There's been a lot of skies falling that, you know, the election has caused this explosion of hate crimes around the country. And we don't really see that. We see an uptick among certain populations, especially uh, Arabs and Muslims and immigrants, that those populations have seen an uptick overall. Hate crimes have remained relatively consistent with where they were before the election. By the way, that man in Springfield was caught after a local police officer took the video, worked it for two weeks, put it on social media, and got enough tips to find the suspect.